All right, hi, uh, this is Brian. I want to look at uh, some of the tools in StatCrunch that are useful for giving you descriptive statistics from sample data as well as some of the data visualization tools. Um, first off, we're going to look at a frequency table here. Uh, this table for these five different classes, also known as bins, we have uh, a frequency count. This is actually in thousands, but uh, we th so this is counting how many people in our sample gave a resp uh, had uh, an age that was in each of that range. So uh, let's open this up in StatCrunch and just see how we can visualize this. So we can. I want to take this and create a um, what we would call a histogram or a. Uh, in, in fact, in this one, because we're going, we already have the, the bins labeled, I'm going to uh, create a bar plot for this with summary data. I don't have the original data, I have the summary data. I have categories and I have counts. And so what I'm going to get, I'm going to order them by the worksheet order just to make sure that the order is consistent. Um, and so you can get a nice little visualization of your of your uh, of your data. Now, suppose you want rather than the frequency, the count, you wanted to have a relative frequency, which is what proportion of your respondents were in each of these categories. Uh, that's easy to do, and you just change the type of chart from a frequency to a relative frequency, uh, and you also can click this value above bar option, uh, which uh, it doesn't give you the values for a small window, but if I just make it a little bit bigger, as soon as it's large enough, then all of these values appear. So not only is this going to give you this relative frequencies, you can see the the y-axis has been changed to the relative frequency, but also you get the relative frequencies above the bars. So you have a nice, um, you can take those values and you can fill in a relative frequency table.